Join us this week on The Turning Stone Show as we discuss loss and the healing power of grief. Our special guest this week is Barbara Mays, author of the new book, Seasons of Loss, A Walk in the Soul Garden. John Henry arrived April 24th, 1974. He was all boy, all energy. And when he was 11 years old, his father died, and it had a great emotional impact on John. And by the time he was 16, he was acting out and pretty much out of control. Shortly after high school, he was accepted into college at Stout uh, University in Wisconsin, January 20th, 1995. In the middle of the night, I received a knock at my door from a policeman informing me that John had been killed in a fatal accident the night before in Wisconsin. It was numbing, disorienting. That immediately plunged me into what I have come to understand as the winter of my grief. And when you lose someone or something, your innocence, your home, your job, your health, your youth. <laughs> it's very disorienting. You're in a place you've never been before. It takes time to find your way. My journey through my grieving process mostly was facilitated by learning that there are gifts within every loss. And the gifts give you purpose. They let you know that God, the universe, however you see the divine, has your back and is there, is intimately connected to what you're experiencing and is walking with you. So the beginning of any loss, it plunges you into winter, but spring brings with it just that gradual opening of life. And summer is that time of growth when you take those memories and you turn them into things that are positive. There are so many things that can come out of loss. One of the things that I did after John's death was I adopted a seg the segment of the highway that John was killed on. And I set a time for all of his friends and I to be able to meet on the highway. And we went out and, and cleaned up the highway. And it was uh, quite an emotional time. Actually, we found some pieces of John's truck. and. Uh, we would hug and cry, and, and then afterwards we all got together for pizza, and they told me how much they appreciated having that opportunity to have something concrete to do to honor John's memory, something that wasn't just so sad, but something that was a positive thing. And adopting the highway was a very positive thing that we were able to do, and it, and it brought us closer together. And then the autumn is my favorite time. It is the time of reflection. It is the time when you are finally able to, to share with others your completed journey through grief. It's the holiday season, the holy days, the days of, of gathering together and remembering and sharing with one another. And so that is the complete cycle from the beginning of the loss to laughing and loving again, to putting it into action, taking it out into the world into something that's positive and actionable. So this is the time to give back to the world. You have that sense that you've survived this, and not just survived it, but you've thrived through it, just as the person that you've lost would want you to do.